How's it going guys? In this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up AutoCAD in order to um, laser cut something on a laser cutter and then I'm going to show you how to find an image online that you would like to laser cut something off of it and how you could trace that out in order to laser cut it. So when we're talking about AutoCAD laser cutting this can only be done with vector laser cutting. So there's two types of laser cutting. One's vector, one is raster. So vector just means that we're only going to be laser cutting lines. So um, there's pretty much three types of lines that a laser uh, a laser is able to read. And one of them is going to be a engrave line, which is going to just engrave in the wood and draw a line in the wood to engrave it. One is going to be a cut line, which is going to cut through the wood and one is going to be a score line which will um, which will go deep enough in order to almost cut through but just enough that the piece of wood still holds together so these are all done with different colors so the laser reads different layer colors so automatically on AutoCAD you're already set up for a white layer this white layer is going to be our engraved layer so that's going to just draw something on top of the wood and cut some lines into it so it burns the lines. Now I'm only going to be showing you how to do the engrave in the cut layers because we're not really going to use the score that much. So the first thing we need to do is come up here to layer properties and click on that because we're going to add our cut layer in here. Once we're in here we could right click inside of um, this box and go to new layer. If we can't right click up here at the top we have a new layer option or we could hold alt and hit N for new layer. So when I click that it automatically adds a new layer and I want to make sure that I know this is my cut layer so I'm going to name it capital C-U-T for cut. And then when I click off it saves it as a cut layer and then I have to switch my color. Like I said before the laser reads in colors so I'm going to click on this white box and it's going to bring up a color selection menu. So the thing with lasers is they can only read pure colors. Now your pure colors are down here. So there's pure red, pure yellow, and so forth. And then up here are all the different shades of colors that you can get. So pure red is going to be our cut layer. Pure red is a code of 25500 if you're ever looking for that. And it should say color red down here. If I hit OK, it gives us the red layer. Now, if I hit the X up here to close this, get out of that, I'm set on my white layer right now. So this will be my engrave. So I can engrave whatever I'd like. I could engrave a box. And then I could go into my cut layer, which will cut this out. I could do a circle. And I could engrave, or I could cut out a circle on the wood and then engrave this box. Now to check the size of whatever I just drew I could use this dimension command click on whatever it is and then it'll tell me this is 13 inches in diameter which is fairly large. 13 inch, A 13 inch circle is pretty big that's like a larger than a ruler so I want to go through and make sure that everything is the correct size that I want it to be and also that I'm drawing everything to scale. Now that I have my um, cut layer and my engraved layer set up, let's talk about how to bring a picture in in order to draw um, whatever symbol I want. So I'm just going to go over to Google on Google Chrome and let's just do Chicago Cubs and then go to images and just look for a simple Cubs logo. So I'm just going to use this Cubs logo right here. Um, once you click it, right click the image and then save your image as. And then it's called i.png. I'm going to click this little arrow here and click show in folder to see where it's saved. So this saved in my H drive which is my uh, school drive and it's named I. I'm just going to rename this so it's easier to find. Chicago Cubs logo. And then I'm going to go back in AutoCAD. In AutoCAD, 
I'm going to come over here to Raster Tools, and then I'm going to go to Insert. And this is going to allow me to insert an image. Now it's going to open up this, um, it's going to load this Raster Tools menu, and it's going to ask me, insert image, what image do I want? If I just start typing that file name, oh, I guess it's not going to work. I'm just going to click C on my keyboard and look for my Chicago Cubs logo. Make sure you know the name of it um, so you could find it easily. And then I'm going to click open. Um, this is just asking where do we want to place it doesn't matter hit next the scale of it hit next hit finish and now my Cubs logo is in here I could double click my mouse wheel to bring my Cubs logo up closer and now I could start drawing on top of this Cubs logo so I could do I'm in my cut layer right now I could draw a circle on my cut layer lock up on the center point draw all the way out and that's going to cut that Cubs logo out in a circle. So from here, I could start drawing the inside. Now, if I'm cutting the outside out, I don't want to cut the inside out. I want to engrave the inside. So I'm going to go to my zero layer to engrave and start drawing the same thing. I'm going to do a circle to the outside of that. And then I'm going to do a circle again. That'll be this guy. Do a circle again, which is this guy, and then I could start working my way in. In order to see what I've drawn, I could hold my mouse wheel down and I can move it over a little bit, and it's going to remove the image and show me what I have drawn there. Now, once I'm done drawing everything, so I'll come in here and I'll What's going to happen is your, your O snaps are going to lock up a lot. If that happens, just come down here, turn off your O snaps, and now I could draw freely. So I could come in here and just draw this Cubs logo, um, that line there, and then draw this line there. And then I just need another circle off of, uh, I need my O snaps on to get that center point again. Get a circle right here. my own snaps back off and you can see that it's kind of making my Cubs logo and then I could come in here and start trimming um, what you can do is you could actually delete the photo in order to do that you guys can see there's a little red box around my image I didn't draw that that's just telling me that there is a raster image there if you click the edge of that box and hit delete on your keyboard it'll ask you do you want to detach this image you could click yes and it will remove the image from your drawing. You want to do this before you laser cut so the laser cutter doesn't get confused about the image you're putting in. Now if I control Z, I can bring back the image. Um, I'm not sure why it screwed up like that, but I could actually come in here and I could turn down the brightness on the image. And what that's going to do is I'm going to actually see my lines more, or what I drew more, and it's going to allow me to draw a lot easier or trim easier or um, work on my drawing a lot easier. So you could adjust these different settings in order to get your image so you could see better. And then you could start working on building however it is. Once you start going, um, once you start building it, you kind of want to, you kind of want to uh, start looking at all the different commands you have up here like arc, ellipse, um, rectangle, polygon, and you want to use those to your advantage. So if I were drawing this guy, um, this is a curve and then it comes into two lines. Instead of coming in here and drawing line, 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 and keep working my way around, um, that's one way of doing it, but if I want to make it easy on myself, I can start playing around with these commands. So this line goes straight down, I know that. This line comes straight over, this line comes straight over from here. And then from there to there, I want to do a arc, start, end, 
Oh, wrong side. So let's go this way. And then I could do an arc, however it might look, and just keep moving this around until it finds the correct spot. From there, I could trim all this off and clean it up. And sometimes just playing around with those commands will make it look a little nicer than you just trying to freehand it with the line tool. Um, so that's how you do it. And then once you remove this image, you'll have whatever your drawing is. Um, and then from here, we could send it to the laser and it'll cut it and engrave it.